The building system exam covers, not surprisingly, all the systems that are normally found in any typical building. Somewhat counterintuitively, the systems exam is really about sense of comfort of the user, the ease of use of the building, the efficiency of the systems. It's more about that sense of the person in the space than really any of the other exams. Uh, other exams will focus on details and precedence and the looks of things and the sort of organization. This really is about sort of uh, making things efficient and easy and comfortable for the, for the user. So what does that mean? That means lighting levels, it means heating systems, it means conveyance systems, it means the acoustics, how loud a space is, it, does the sound transmit back and forth. Uh, all of those kinds of issues are the kinds of issues that can be uh, asked on the uh, building systems exam. Now, you really can't study for all the possible questions that could come at you. So the main gesture here is to really focus on the basic principles and concepts behind how the systems work, and then some of the vocabulary so that you feel comfortable when you see questions coming at you. You can start to piece the information together and, and build up the information as you're studying uh, to get a, a, a broader uh, picture of the overall systems idea. Uh, there are both multiple choice questions and a vignette, but we'll focus right now on the multiple choice. 